Welcome to Build of the Week. I'm Bex from Grinding Gear Games. This week's build is a necromancer hellbent on killing its minions. It uses one of the unique items introduced with the Incursion expansion to burn through skeletons. Each one explodes with a satisfying pop and deals a pile of damage to the enemies around it. This build relies on Arendelle's Embrace, a unique scepter designed by one of our supporters. This scepter grants your skeletons Avatar of Fire, forcing them to deal only fire damage and causing them to cover enemies they hit in Ash. Enemies that are covered in Ash take increased fire damage and move more slowly. Arendelle's Embrace also causes your skeletons to take fire damage based on their maximum life. With the Minion Instability Keystone, your minions explode when they reach 35% life, dealing damage based on their max life. So to scale damage, you want to gather minion life and minion damage. You can get a lot of minion life and damage on the passive tree. You should also avoid anything that will result in your skeletons surviving longer, such as the resistances on the Herd the Flock Notable. Jewels and Abyss Jewels are another great way to get minion life and damage. So is the unique body armor Blood Bond. The From Dust unique jewel will let you summon your skeletons more quickly, as will the Bone Sculptor Ascendancy Notable. To back up your skeletons, a Flame Golem setup is quite strong. Supporting them with Summon Phantasm on Kill will really grow your minion army. If you can get one, the Anima Stone is worth getting since a second Flame Golem is quite strong. Consider getting Elemental Equilibrium too. An Orb of Storm setup with Curse on Hit and Flammability will help enhance the fire damage your minions deal. You'll just have to be careful as sequential fire hits will do less damage. When you're fighting bosses, be sure to bring Baal Summon Skeletons. This skill really pops. Get it? It pops. If that doesn't finish the job, a spell totem with Dark Pact and Chain will provide a damage top up. More importantly, it will help you kill your skeletons even faster. It's a very unusual build with some specific unique item requirements, but they're all pretty neat. As a result, this is a surprisingly cheap setup and very satisfying to play. Pop! These are all of the unique items you'll want for this build in order of importance and how difficult it might be to find them or buy them from other players. These are the gems you'll need. These should be very simple to acquire. If you're interested, here are the microtransactions the character in this episode is wearing. For more in-depth information about this week's build, you can find a link to the guide in the description of this video. If you'd like to submit a build for next week's episode, just post a build guide in the class forums on pathofexile.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time!